In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do the typewriter effect in your videos. So stick around. Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Rooker Films. And yes, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do the typewriter effect in Adobe Premiere Pro. This effect is really simple and it's a great way to animate your text. So let's get right into it. Okay, so once we've loaded up Adobe Premiere Pro, we want to begin by creating a new black video, and then we're just gonna drag that onto the sequence, and we're just gonna extend that out. And the purpose of this is just to create a background. So we'll go into effects, and we're just gonna search for tint. We'll drag that on top of the black video layer, and in effect controls, we're just gonna turn the black into white. And this is just gonna give us a white background throughout this. So from here, we just wanna go back into our project, and we want to create a new legacy title. We can rename that to typewriter effect or type, whatever you like. And inside of the title window, we want to begin by creating a new text layer. So we're just gonna select text and type in typewriter. Now, once you've completed typing, whatever you want to animate, you just wanna go and change your font. And then you just wanna change the font size and change the weight, change this to black. That's so it stands out on the white background. Adjust the font size. And then we're just gonna center this up on the horizon. And then once you're happy with that, we can close this window down and then we can drag that into the sequence on top of that white background. Now in the effects tab, we want to search for linear wipe and drag that on top of the text layer. Now in linear wipe, if we pull across the transition completion, you can see that this is the wrong way. This is back to front. So we're gonna change the wipe angle to 270 degrees. We'll adjust the transition completion up to 100% and create a brand new keyframe at the very beginning. We'll scroll to the end of those five seconds and we'll pull this down to 0%. Now, if we play this back, you can see that the text is now scrolling on, but it's a little bit too slow. It doesn't quite look believable. So we're just gonna speed this up a little bit by pulling back on the keyframe. This may take a while and you may have to keep adjusting this to get it right. But once it's ready, we can throw another black video layer on top of the footage ununiform the scale and we're going to adjust the width to 0.3 and the height we're just going to pull that down so it's slightly larger than the text so in this example we'll pull it down to around 10 percent and then we'll just adjust the position all the way across to the left of the text now we'll scroll across all the way to the very beginning where the text animates on and create a new keyframe on the position we'll scroll to the very end and again we'll create a new keyframe and we'll readjust the position of this to the end now, as you can see, the text is slightly ahead of that line and we need the line to be ahead of the text. So you may just have to adjust that keyframe. This may take some time, but make sure that you get this perfect because you want this to look good. So there you go. The line is now traveling with the text and all that we need to do to finish this effect off is to add a blinking effect to the cursor. That's the line. So now you want to go over to opacity and pull this down to 0%. Then you want to scroll across four frames and adjust this to 100% selecting a new keyframe. Scroll across another four frames and pull this back down to zero. Now you want to copy those three keyframes and you want to paste them onto that end keyframe. We'll redo this again. So we'll copy all of the keyframes, paste them onto the last keyframe. And then we'll just keep repeating this over and over again until the text has keyframes throughout the entire duration of the effect. So now that we have all of those keyframes in place, we can drag this back to the very beginning. And now, as you can see, the cursor is blinking, the text is typing on, and that is the typewriter effect now complete. And that's it. Don't forget to subscribe and push that bell icon. I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.